Hi, I'm Nancy Rayner with a review of gold leaf and metal leaf products from King Boom Gold Foil Company. And they're out of China. And the um, umbrella company over them is called, I'm going to make sure I get this right, Nanjing Jinling Gold Foil Group Company. So they gave me the sampling of some of their uh, leaf products. They have quite a lot. Um, I was interested specifically in the gold leaf, the imitation leaf, and these this array of colored leaves, which I've never seen before. So uh, I said yes to doing this review because I wanted to try them out. And the first thing I did was I went on the website, uh, King Boom's website. I think it's kingboomg.com. I'll, I'll put the correct website uh, on text here. And I was really impressed by the company. It is actually the largest a gold foil production company in China. They've been in business since 1955 and they're also one of the five largest uh, foil company production companies in the world. So I was really impressed and I use a lot of gold leaf in my work. I'm a fine artist and I wanted to see if I could try out their foil and see if I like it better than the ones I'm getting now. Uh, they did sell a couple of things that won't review because that's just not in my um, avenue of working. Uh, one was edible foil and that is over here. This uh, 24 karat edible gold leaf. Um, I'm assuming that chefs and dessert makers use it for decorating cakes and things. Um, so I, I won't review that uh, because I'm not a baker. And the other products were um, used for uh, fingernails and I think that these colored uh, leaves they're gorgeous colors I think that manicurists will use it for fingernails too but I thought hmm, I'm gonna try that with some of my paintings to give you an idea of how I use gold leaf and metal leaf and I'm distinguishing between the two because there is a real gold 24 karat gold which by the way I asked them about the edible gold leaf and I said, you know, what makes it edible? And they said it's very pure. So 24, it's like 99.9% .9%, uh, 24 karat gold. So I tend to not use that in my work. I use the imitation gold leaf, which is a combination of copper and zinc. And uh, just to give you an idea of how I use it in my work, here's a couple examples. Um, some of my paintings are quite large, as you can see in this photo. And here's some other images of paintings that I've done with gold leaf. I also leaf my frames for some of my smaller pieces. So now let's look at this array of metal leaf that I'm going to review. As you can see, I already opened everything. I didn't want to waste time on the video. Uh, they were well packaged. Everything was uh, plastic wrapped and uh, put in a nice box. And that's really important because leaf is so delicate and fragile that if it's not packaged correctly, you're going to pay for uh, leaf if it's getting shipped to you. And you're going to get it damaged. So everything came perfectly fine. Uh, again, well packaged. Um, I just want to go back to that company. I am very impressed by the company. Uh, they're quality oriented, um, ethical, and also easy to work with as far as as my um, interactions with them. And um, I'm going to talk about some other positive things about the company, but I recommend going to their website and reading about uh, all of their different products and also their philosophy and the history. It was quite interesting. So instead of going through every single leaf here, um, I wanted to give you an idea of the different assortment of types of leaf that you can get. Um, like I said, I'm interested in the real gold leaf, which is here, the imitation gold leaf here, and, um, and some of the colored ones. So I'm going to put the rest of these aside. This is a rose. I wrote this here so I wouldn't get confused. <laughs> um, but here's rose gold. And let's just look at some of the differences here. Um, the imitation gold is what I use most. So let's look at that as our baseline. Again, this is the real uh, 24 karat gold leaf over here. Um, this is rose gold, so you can see it's got more copper in it, and it's a, it's a lot warmer. It's a really pretty leaf. 
So I'm going to put that aside uh, and not review it because uh, we don't have time to do all of everything. But here's, um, this is uh, imitation silver leaf. And I put it out because I wanted to show you their champagne silver. And usually the smaller size means that it's real and the bigger size is imitation. Not always, but in this case, this is real silver, but a champagne silver. It's just gorgeous. And um, I'll probably try to use that in my work and also on frames. I think that would be really nice. So I'm going to put that one aside. And here is real silver. Let's compare it to uh, the imitation silver over here. So here's the real silver. They look they aren't the same obviously there's this one has a tinier texture to it and this one is a lot shinier again the bigger one is the imitation and this is the real silver and um, in my work the way that I uh, paint over it I, it's really more worthwhile for me to use the imitation silver but anyway just wanted to show you the comparison that one aside, I'm going to put this imitation silver aside. And then we have, uh, here's our imitation leaf. And again, here's the 24 karat. This is another um, type of gold. I'm going to compare it to the 24 karat because it, it's real gold also. And you can see that it's just, um, this is the champagne gold here that I'm waving up and down next to the uh, 24 karat gold. It's just a little bit cooler, and the 24 karat is a little more um, golder or more yellower. And now let's compare it to the imitation gold leaf. So there's so many choices with the different um, flavors, the different types of uh, color nuances that you can get in leaf. Okay, so we're narrowing it down to, again, these two and then the colored ones. So... Um, I think I'll just pick one of the colored ones. Uh, this one's green over here. I'm going to move that out of the way. We've got turquoise, purple. This is called light purple or mauve. It was listed as both. This is, um, I labeled on the back too, orange. Put <laughs> that over here. This is yellow here. What fun. And this is uh, black. Almost looks like a rich blue. Okay, so I will. I'll leave the purple one out. So I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna test these three. Now, what I mean by testing is that I have uh, six different things that I would like to uh, look at with this leaf. The first is uh, the strength. How they handle. If I pick it up, will it fall apart really easily? Uh, how does it hold up to, to handling? The second is the smoothness, the, the real quality of, this is such a thin um, leaf is so, it's pressed and pressed and pressed hundreds of times to such a thin uh, state that in the pressing, if it uh, creates scratches and it mars the surface, that uh, I'm gonna look for. So the smoothness or the quality of the, uh, of the leaf. The third thing is the aesthetics, the color, how the shine and the color, how does it look? The fourth is how is the ease of application? And I'm gonna just apply these to a piece of cardboard just to see how they how easy it is to apply them. The last two I find the most important, well, part the last two are important to me, price and ease of purchase. So let's just talk about those last two, the price and the ease of purchase. Because what I found, I've been buying my uh, leaf for, in bulk from another company in China. And the shipping costs were more than the amount I was paying for the leaf. The shipping was pretty expensive. And also it was, uh, I had to wire transfer the money and it was a little difficult to purchase. With this company, they sell on Amazon. So, um, and I have Prime, so I can get free shipping. So that's a big plus right there. Also, I don't have to buy a huge quantity. The other company that I was purchasing from, that, uh, they had a minimum requirement of thousands of, of sheets. So it was quite a big outlay. 
of money. And sometimes you just don't want a huge amount of, a, of an art supply. So in this case, when you get it on Amazon, you have a choice. Uh, they come in packs of 200 or 100, or um, I think you can get 20. I'd have to look again. And um, I'll put the link uh, in a text here for uh, finding them on Amazon. And also, on my YouTube page where this video sits, I have a description below the video where I'll list all the links to Amazon. So price also seemed to be an advantage with this company. Uh, let's see, I wrote the prices down. The uh, real 24 karat gold comes in 10 sheets and it is this smaller size. Um, and it was $19.99, which comes to about roughly $2 a sheet. So uh, that's quite an, an a good price for real gold. And if we look at the imitation leaf, which is also bigger sized, um, this was 200 sheets in a pack for $12.99. I'm using US dollars. And that comes to roughly six cents per sheet. A huge difference. Now the colored ones, all the colored ones were the same price. Doesn't matter which color you choose. And these came 100 sheets in the smaller square size for $9.99, and that comes to $0.10 cents a sheet, again, U.S. dollars. So the price was good. I liked that I could uh, decide on how, what the quantity I want. I don't have to buy thousands of sheets. And also the shipping was really good. So now we're left with out of the six things that I wanted to um, look at, uh, we're down to the four. So we covered price and ease of purchase, and now we're at strength, smoothness, aesthetics, and ease of application. So for this, what I want to do is let's start with the, um, I'll start with the real gold over here. And I have a piece of cardboard that I put um, adhesive on. It's right over here. So this is just plain cardboard um, with water-based uh, leaf adhesive. I am not going to demonstrate how I do that because I already have a comprehensive video for free on YouTube. Just look up how to apply gold leaf with my name, Nancy Rayner. I will put a link in that um, description I mentioned below my video on my YouTube page. And I go through all kinds of things, the difference between real gold leaf and imitation, um, how to prepare your surfaces, how to apply the leaf, how to seal it, all kinds of things. But here, I just want to look at this type of leaf and decide if I'm going to switch over to this company, which I have a feeling I am. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet in my work, but again, the price and the ease of purchase makes a big, um, a big pull for me to uh, try this company out. So let's just try the real gold leaf. I'm just going to take it. First, I'm going to take it and I'm going to just play with it and see now, real gold leaf is usually very, very fragile, and when I play with it like this, it usually crumples. Um, this is actually ripping a little bit, but I'm pretty rough handling it, and that's still staying pretty good. Um, the way I like to apply leaf is to grab a piece of wax paper. There are so many ways to apply leaf, and using uh, glue or adhesive is only one way, um, but that's what I use in my work. So I use wax paper, which um, picks it up statically. And then I'm just going to place it down. This, I really like this leaf. I've used real gold leaf before, and it usually fragments into little pieces when I do that. So this is coming on nice and smooth. Looks really good. So again, let's see, strength it holds up really well. Um, smoothness, it doesn't have um, many marks in it from the processing. And I like the color and the sheen. What I'm noticing with this leaf uh, compared to the leaf that I'm used to using is that this has a, a different surface. But, you know, let me save that argument for the imitation gold leaf because it seems like the real gold leaf and these um, colored leaves have a tiny, tiny little um, imprint in them which cuts the gloss a little bit which I like I don't like things too brassy too super glossy um, 
Let's move on to the imitation leaf, which is what I'm used to using, and I can compare it to, um, so let's see, here's their imitation gold leaf. This is the leaf that I'm used to using from another company in China. Again, this is the imitation leaf. It's most it's copper and zinc, uh, so there's no gold in it, but it's still called imitation gold leaf. They look pretty similar in terms of color. This one has a slightly richer color, like a little bit warmer. It looks a little shinier, and uh, they look very close, but I'm, I'm liking this new one better. One of the reasons I really wanted to do this review, other than checking out this um, new company for me, is that uh, when I did that video that I mentioned, the comprehensive one where I talk about all the aspects of applying uh, gold leaf, I at that time was using a company from Italy called Nazionale, and it was distributed by a company here in the States called Set Leaf. So in that video, that's what I'm using when I demonstrate. And I was buying that quite a lot for several years, and all of a sudden I get a batch that has huge scratches through. And I had bought 500 sheets. That was, you know, a good amount of money. Huge scratches, and the way I work, um, you'd really see that in, in a painting, I, especially on the large pieces. And I actually saved uh, one of the leaves that has the scratch, so I wanted to show you what that looks like. And so I no longer use that leaf. I called Set Leaf and asked them for a refund. They said no. And they said that the Italian company had changed their production methods and it was causing scraping in circular, big circular motions. Let me see if I can find one. I'll put this back over here. So this is the Italian leaf that I no longer use. And I want to show you um, what happens when I don't know if you could see it, but it has this large circle scratch. Let me see if I can find a good example. Um, this has large scratches all the way through. Let me find one really good example. Here's, here's another leaf. I don't know if you could see it, but it has these arc uh, scratches through, and many of the leaves just have this huge circle scratch, which I just couldn't use. So basically, um, that was a waste of money. So I have been looking for other companies, and uh, this looks like it's got good quality leaf. So I've been handling this. <laughs> Let's test to see how it handles. Here's the strength. I'm gonna pull it apart. Um, it ha it's pretty strong. Again, leaf is delicate, but it's not shredding. I'm, I mean, I'm ripping it apart, but it's not like, you know, powdery shredding. Let's get a nice uh, piece of leaf here. This one. So this one doesn't have any of those scratches that I found in that um, Italian company. And um, it's nice and smooth. It's strong. I like the color. I like uh, the rich, glossy quality. And this is what I was thinking. Here's that real gold leaf. Just, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it has these um, little tiny, tiny, um, kind of a little texture, which actually looks really pretty. And this one doesn't. So diff maybe different production methods. Um, but I like both of them. They have like lovely quality. So uh, let's just, we have one more thing left to do on this is to see how it applies, uh, how I can apply it using my method of a water-based adhesive. So I'll grab another pre-glued, again I put the glue on and it feels like um, it's sticky like the back of scotch tape. And I'm going to take my wax paper. Again, there's tons of ways of using leaf. This is what I found works well for me. Put it down, and I just rub it, and it um, picks up. I'm gonna put it down. Boy, that went on nice and easy. 
So ease of application, it's an A. <laughs> so we've got this one and this one. Um, what's left to talk about are these colored uh, leaves, and I'll try the same thing with them. I don't have anything to compare them to because I've never seen a um, leaf like this. And uh, let's see, kind of rips. It rips very easily, um, crumpling it up. It's a little more delicate than, than the imitation gold leaf, and that may be the types of metal that is used. I asked the company and I said, are there colored pigments in these uh, colored leaves? And they said no, which is interesting because pigment will, is what's used in paint and pigment will fade unless you put like a UV protection over it. These are all made with all metal. I think that's pretty interesting. I don't know how they got the color, but um, different ways of uh, production with metal, they're getting this color. So that's pretty cool. Um, so strength, uh, still good. Smoothness, nice and smooth. Uh, looks really pretty. I'll try to um, apply it. Picks up easy. And grab a board that's pre-glued. Wow, that looks really pretty. So, uh, this is my review. Again, the, the company is called King Boom uh, Gold Foil Company. I'll put all the information below my video. And I'm sold. I think this is a great company. I like that they've been in business for so long and that they were given um, national awards for their quality. Uh, everything's easy. Easy to apply, easy to purchase, prices are good. So in conclusion, i definitely going to try this company. I give them my high vote. I like the price. I like the ease of purchase. I like the quality and the color and the um, care that goes into the processing of this metal leaf because it's not scratched, it's not marred. Really excellent quality. I recommend going to my website. I have lots of articles on there. I have other reviews that I've done for other products. Uh, it's an easy way to find my video that I mentioned before on how to apply gold leaf and classes, all kinds of things. So thank you so much for joining me for this review and I hope this helps you with your idea of purchasing gold metal leaf.